Joining me today is Mike Moffat, who is a Marine veteran and an author. Uh, Mike, thanks so much for being here. John, thanks for inviting me. Great to be here. So I, I want to talk a little bit about your book uh, later on, uh, Fahim Speaks, uh, but I want to start sort of really as we think about Veterans, Veterans Day, your service to the country, um, and sort of start at the beginning. You joined the Marine Corps in what, 1982? 1982, correct. Was that out of high school, out of college, or? or well, I was one of the oldest uh, OCS uh, candidates in 1982. I graduated from high school in 1973, and I taught high school and coached uh, after I went to the uh, Plymouth State College at the time for four years. And I was teaching at Trinity High School in Manchester, and my department chair was a retired Army Lieutenant Colonel who'd been in World War II. And uh, my brother was a Marine, and, and uh, before I got too old, I wanted some adventure, and so I, uh, I joined the Marines at age 27 in 1982. So at 27, you went to officer school? I did, yep. Uh, that's, and so you were the oldest? I was one of the oldest uh, or, okay. uh, at OCS, yep. Uh, what was that like, be, uh, being with so many, so many younger? Well, uh, they weren't necessarily a whole lot younger, a lot of 24-year-olds. Okay. Type generally speaking, but, uh, you know, I was always uh, an athlete and, and big into fitness, and so that part of it was, was not a problem for me. Um, I, uh, I loved it. Uh, I loved the challenge. I loved the physicality of it. Um, I had never flown in a plane until I joined the Marines uh, at age 27. I flew down to Washington, and, and since then I've flown around the world many times, but uh, loved it. Uh, one of the best things I've ever done, uh, active and reserve. Uh, just real quick, uh, I became an infantry officer in 1982-83, and my first assignment was at Camp Pendleton with uh, the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines. My first company commander in 1983 was a captain named Jay Paxton, who is still in the Marine Corps. Uh, he's been in for over 40 years. He wears four stars. He's an assistant commandant of the Marine Corps. And so, uh, yeah, I, uh, I went in in 82-83 and, and then reserve duty after that. Um, what was it like coming back f from your first stint with the Marines back into civilian life? Uh, it wasn't a huge adjustment. I it did a three-year uh, uh, commitment on active duty to the Marines and uh, tried to decide if I wanted to stay or not stay. And, and eventually I came back to New Hampshire to pursue some, some stuff back here. Uh, I missed the Marines, which is why I ended up going back into the reserves. The reserves. Yeah. But, uh, you know, having just been on active duty for three years, it wasn't a huge uh, transition. I know folks who've been on active duty for 20, 25, 30 years, that is a whole different adjustment. But for me, it was not a, a, a huge thing at that time. Well, what's the biggest adjustment that you saw and your colleagues who had served for, for decades in the Marines? Well, I think especially if you're a retired gunny or first sergeant or, or a general, uh, honestly, I think these people who are used to the military culture and people, you know, snapping to, uh, when suddenly they go to a civilian culture where that snap isn't there, uh, it must be really hard, I think, for uh, a general to uh, who's used to getting so much support to suddenly... Uh, not have an aide or a driver or that type of thing. And, and to a lesser extent, uh, you know, a senior enlisted or, or uh, you know, a, a colonel, uh, it's, uh, it's just different uh, to, to be um, in a civilian culture with that, you know, not everybody's on time, not everybody's early, not everybody's, uh, gets haircuts and shaves every day, you know, so it's, it's a different well, culture. Yeah, I can understand <laughs> not shaving every day. <laughs> um, so. Is, that a, is this a good um, career path for, for kids coming out of high school? Would you recommend that? It depends on the, on the, youngster, or the young person. Um, yes, I, I would. Of course, uh, there are some Marines who say everybody should go to Paris Island and, and the world will be better. But of course, Paris Island is not for everybody. But yes, absolutely. Uh, you learn uh, discipline. You learn teamwork. You learn leadership. Uh, you're, you get fit, you travel, um, you, know, there's, you know, there's ups and downs, there's frustrations inevitably with, with that lifestyle, but uh, oh, my, oh my gosh, yes, I, it's one of the best things I, I ever did was to, to join the Marines. Um, we're out of time in this segment, but I want to continue, and I want to focus on your reservist duties in post 9-11, so please stay with us. <laughs> 